all right guys we are back today uh with a update video and a farewell video um as y'all know this is my grandmother's 2013 lincoln mkz i made a video last spring where i had just detailed it and whatnot and uh so we're back today with a farewell video she bought a new car um she ended up buying a 2018 lincoln mkx um with about 10,000 miles on it and it's got the 37 in it and I kind of pointed her towards that uh, you know just for durability reasons the same reason I pointed her towards this when she bought it a few years ago um, but anyway so they got a 2018 MKX uh, it's a front wheel drive 37 liter I think it's a premier model it's the base it's the entry level uh, trim but nonetheless it's a very nice upgrade uh, she needed something a little bit bigger so uh, this does have to go and here it is with me today I'm gonna try to sell it for them if not <laughs> if I don't buy it myself um i did forgot kind of how nice this car really was to drive uh such a nice riding car uh but anyways this is the lincoln 2013 mkz i don't know really what i'm going to go about with this video but uh just kind of kind of show it for one last time like i said if i don't end up buying it uh 2013 was the first year for this generation um and i think it was a really nice upgrade considering the you know the previous mkz was just a fusion really uh, they did a good job showing you that this was not a fusion but it really is a fusion underneath uh, but i think they did a great job with it and it's aged really good uh, so i did get it all cleaned up today i haven't buffed it or anything like I, I did take a wheel to it last spring and unfortunately it's seen a few drive-through car washes and the paint's kind of trashed again uh, unfortunately this this clear coat's pretty soft on these fords so uh, you can see almost every little flaw in it but uh, nonetheless it still looks good on video um but yeah, so let's getting started here. This has uh, brand new, pretty much brand new Michelin Primacy tires on it. Uh, I mean, they probably have maybe 3,000 miles on them. And uh, they're really good tires. Uh, really good riding, sporty, all-around tires. Uh, this is a certified pre-owned vehicle. So if they were to keep it much longer, I would probably suggest taking it to the dealer uh, and getting the wheels checked out or replaced. They are starting to flake their clear coat. Um, so yeah, that's something that will be covered under pre-owned warranty. Uh, yeah, if you want to go that route, but uh, we're getting rid of it. So, uh, seen a few little body scars going through the garage and whatnot. Just cutting it a little too close. Just a few little scrapes and whatnot. Well, overall, it's been a very well kept car. Uh, so it's got brand new brakes, I think, all around as well. Uh, it's picked up a few little miscellaneous scratches. It looks like somebody drove a dug a key or something like across the side here this is all into the paint that's not coming out unfortunately um so probably in a parking lot or somewhere like that uh so and this is a 37 v6 uh, a pretty bulletproof power plant uh it's hooked up to the transmission that you want i don't know the name of it off the top of my head but it's not the 6f35 like the two liter ecoboost uses uh so if you're getting a vehicle like this definitely try to find a v6 because your transmission is going to be good as well um but yeah coming up to the front this has pretty much every option on it that you could get for the time aside from the uh, panoramic roof and the thx audio other than that it's got every feature on it uh, it's got the lane keep assist front park sensors this was a this car had a front plate bracket on it at some point so it does have some holes but uh it's gone you have hid hid projector headlights uh they also follow the wheel as well. Are they active, active bending headlights? And uh, it does have the LED runners down there. So we'll start it up here. I do have the key, it's just the regular key fob. Excuse my hands, I've been raking leaves, so they're all tore up. But um, anyways, uh, I'll give it a little start up here. I can get a 3.7 fire right up. Such a robust engine. It's very fast. Um, it's, I'd say you do keep up with my Volvo T6. It would probably very well hang with it. Uh, I do know in Florida that this thing has seen uh, dangerously high speeds when I hit <laughs> in Florida, but a uh, very stable car in sport mode. Uh, it looks like this trim, I don't know what's going on with this trim up here, but uh, I don't know if it's popped out or, or what caught it, but uh, that don't look right. Uh, there's a piece of trim hanging out. But uh, So what I've noticed with this car is it looks very good, it's aged very good, but underneath it's still a Ford. Uh, and I'll get to that once we get into the interior. Uh, this one does have the your turn signals and mirrors as well as you know your luxury cars usually do you have blind spot right there this is auto dimming as well fuel century uh your gas cap right here is uh just push to open there it is your easy fuel 
Um, so we'll go over to the interior and I'll kind of go over things I, I don't really care for and how it's aged. Uh, this car is going on eight years old. So uh, that's the point where they start to break down, uh, at least in my experience. So going to the door panels, everything is held up very nicely as a, you know, a sub 40,000 mile car usually should be. Um, so it does have the nice aluminum trim that it was an option as well. I think it looks really good with this interior. Uh, you have heated cooled seats. They are perforated and uh, fully powered, of course. You have your Lincoln carpeted floor mat down there. So it's a very clean car overall. Uh, it's just showing its age in a few areas as I will go into. Um, the steering wheel, first and foremost, is just the worst quality leather you guys could ever probably experience. Uh, it's so shiny and it's it looks awful. I mean, it just looks awful. It aged terribly. Uh, that's another thing that would be covered under CPO, though. Uh, I do know Ford is good about replacing the steering wheels on these, so. Um, just another thing we haven't done. Um, I see everything go through your menus there. A little rev. It sounds good. <laughs> there might even be a small exhaust leak on this one, if you can hear. I don't know if that's an exhaust leak or not, but um, it sounds good. Um, down here, it's getting some rust down on the door sills or the door, door lips where the pinch welds are. Um, it's just due to not being wiped down. I don't expect to. 70 per year old person to be getting down there and wiping stuff but um for what it is though there is plastic right here that will cover that so that's just uh just when you open the door it's ugly but um or in the next few years it will be so um looking at it over here look at the window it seems to be going slow but it, now it works yesterday the window was going very slow so uh it just made me a liar there it goes it, it's taken a while and maybe it just needs to be used uh, it hasn't been used a whole lot this winter So maybe it just needs to be used. It's one of the, but it's one of those things that you really shouldn't have to deal with in a car that costed 50 grand brand new. Um, but anyways, looking at it here, dashboard, everything else is held up pretty good. Um, you know, the faux stitched leather dash. You have your heads up display right there. Uh, your center channel and everything else is really built pretty good. Um, but coming over here is where I really start to get annoyed. And I know Lincoln had rectified it uh, come 2017. They did put hard touch buttons in here, but... This panel is terrible. Um, you know, you gotta turn the volume down and it cranks it up to high. That just happened to me for this video. Uh, that's stuff that I've experienced. Maybe your experience is different, but uh, trying to turn it down, it just cranked it all the way up. So uh, it's kind of scary. But um, other than that, it looks good. It looks sleek. Um, it's just kind of cheap and tacky. But um, you got a bunch of storage in here. Uh, like I said, it looks good. There's the passenger seat does have the moonroof up top um, there's the passenger side so um, I've almost considered I'm still considering uh, maybe selling these s60 for this I do have to say this I know they're, they don't really compete um, but this has such a great ride um, it rides amazing it's peppy uh, it does it all uh, but the Volvo s60 has been a very nice car to me as well so I'm just kind of torn I know they're worth about the same amount of money, so, um, you know, it wouldn't be much out of my pocket, if anything. Uh, we do have automatic headlights right here. We'll turn those on. Down here, you have some nice storage. There's the uh, center console right there. It does flow very good. Uh, you have an auto dimmer up there, and uh, we do have some LED vanity lights. You have four damp handles on this as well. It's going to honk at me with the key in my pocket, so... Uh, but coming to the rear, the materials all do follow through. Um, so the leather they use in these Lincolns is very high quality leather, I do have to say. They could probably use a conditioning, but um, they've held up very well. This one does have the inflatable seat belts, actually, so that's kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll step back here real fast. You have some vents, some storage, and uh, the cup holders that were probably never used. So uh, that is actually felt lined, which is pretty cool. Ford fashion, it doesn't seem to be deteriorating. You have a pass through right there. Uh, what I have noticed with this car is um, over the years, it's been a garage car its whole life too. Uh, this just has not aged well, this cargo tray. It's, uh, the color has turned almost to a light gray, which is kind of weird, but um, so it hasn't aged all the best. You have some speakers back here. They look to be like six by eights. They look like plastic paper speakers. Um, so you can see that back there. So. 
but yeah that's just a few little things that kind of are annoying with such a expensive car for the time so that cargo tray looks pretty bad through untinted glass but uh that's just me so we'll come back here it does have an auto trunk you hit the button down here and it does pop you see which is pretty cool this car was actually rear-ended a few years ago and um it costed about i don't know like 10 grand in damage and the hit wasn't all that bad really but uh what went involved in that was replacing the bumper this whole entire mechanism and then the back three window glasses had to be replaced and that was about 10 grand in damage uh, i was surprised they didn't total the car um but anyways coming back here to the trunk it's a pretty big trunk really nice the seats you have a 60 40 split fold and uh you have a nice led light back there which is really, really nice uh, lincoln did a good job of finishing this trunk off as i guess a luxury car brand should be uh see the trunk down there it's pretty dirty but uh whatever so shut the trunk up i do apologize for the wind noise if you can't hear that uh, as you can see it does shut right up one thing i do like about my volvo it doesn't honk at you every time you shut the door when the key pops out with you so I'm gonna throw this fucking key fob in there. It's quite annoying. There that is, and so. There's the owner's manual right here as well. Let's see if we can find a window sticker. Uh, bear with me here, I do believe it's in there. I can't find it right now, so. Uh, I don't know where it's at. It did have a window sticker, but uh, it's pretty fully loaded though. So, there's the 37 V6, about 300 horsepower, 270 odd pound feet of torque. Uh, I think it might need some motor mounts at some point. Uh, but it does have a brand new battery in it as well, and uh, that's pretty much it for the Lincoln guys. So, I'm sure this is going to be the last time you see it, but uh, you never know what the future is. So. Uh, as usual, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you all later.